but the concert was violently interrupted when a gunman carried out the deadliest mass shooting in modern American history. At least 59 people were killed and more than 500 injured. Although America's unique relationship to guns sits at the forefront of the national psyche, gun culture in the U.S. is often seen as an outlier globally. The number of firearms available to American civilians is estimated at around 310 million, according to a 2009 National Institute of Justice NIDGE report. India is home to the second largest civilian firearm stockpile, estimated at 46 million. The most updated estimates now nearly a decade old place the worldwide civilian gun cash at around 650 million. According to Switzerland-based Small Arms Survey, the number of civilian guns has most likely risen since 2007. Firearm production continues to proliferate worldwide, outweighing the effects that gun destruction might have. According to the Small Arms Survey, the exact number of civilian and firearms is impossible to pinpoint because of a variety of factors including arms that go unregistered, the illegal trade and global conflict. Americans own the most guns per person in the world, about 4 in 10 saying they either own a gun or live in a home with guns, according to a recent Pew Center study. 48% of Americans said they grew up in a house with guns. According to the survey, a majority 66% of U.S. gun owners own multiple firearms, with nearly three-quarters of gun owners saying they couldn't imagine not owning one. Yemen, home to the world's second-largest gun-owning population per capita, and a country in the throes of a two-and-a-half-year civil conflict trail significantly behind the U.S. in terms of ownership. When it comes to gun massacres, the U.S. is an anomaly. There are more public mass shootings in America than in any other country in the world. Before Sunday, the 2016 Orlando attack was the deadliest mass shooting in modern U.S. history, with 49 people killed. In 2012, Adam Lanza went on a shooting spree in Newtown, Connecticut, killing his mother, before murdering 26 students and staff at Sandy Hook Elementary School in 2007, 32 people were killed in the Virginia Tech massacre. Such massacres have prompted debates about gun control, but they also increase demand for guns. And regulations covering the sale of firearms are looser now that they were just a few months ago. In February, U.S. President Donald Trump signed a measure that scrapped a Vavamera regulation aimed at keeping guns out of the hands of some severely mentally ill people. The original rule was part of a series of moves taken by the Obama administration to try and curb gun violence after other efforts failed to advance in Congress. Globally, restrictive gun laws have proven to make a difference in curbing massacres. In Australia, for example, four mass shootings occurred between 1987 and 1996. After those incidents, public opinion turned against gun ownership and Parliament passed stricter gun laws. Australia hasn't had a mass shooting since. The U.S. has one of the highest rates of death by firearm in the developed world, according to World Health Organization data. Our calculations based on OECD data from 2010 show that Americans are 51 times more likely to be killed by gunfire than people in the United Kingdom. Most American gun owners two-thirds say a major reason they own a gun is for their personal protection, according to the Pew study. However, the majority of America's firearm-related deaths are attributed to self-harm. Gun-related suicides are eight times higher in the U.S. than in other high-income nations. Globally, the U.S. sees fewer gun-related murders than many of its southern neighbors. According to the Small Arms Survey El Salvador is currently home to the most gun-related murders in the world excluding active wars with guns killing more than 90 people for every 100,000 of population. From 20,102,015, Honduras saw the highest averages of gun-related homicides, with guns killing 67 out of every 100,000 people there. Venezuela and El Salvador also topped the charts over the same five-year period, with 52 and 49 gun-related deaths, respectively, for every 100,000 of population.